that says the glycam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of footage of me walking and panning with the camera on its own, just handheld, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the light cam, and let's see how we end up. Okay. So I've rebalanced the glide cam, uh, so and I'm gonna, you know, go for a walk. So walking test, simple walking test with the glide. I'm gonna walk towards this door. Okay. And here we are. On the right side. Sort of hallway. So in the hallway. So I'm going to try the same thing. So I'm going to try the same thing now, uh, just using the camera on its own. Let's see how well this works. Off place. So I'm now holding the camera, um, steady. I'm actually going to turn on the lens stabilizer. So lens stabilizer is now on. Let's see how we get on with this. Holding it cl close to my chest, walk towards the door. Turn left. Down the hallway. Right, so it's dark down here, you won't see a whole lot. So let's go the other way. Let's see how that footage works. For the sake of completeness, I put the uh, camera onto my uh, Grillapod because uh, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, vloggers on YouTube walking around like this holding their, their cameras on their Grillapod. So let's give this a go and see how it works. Yep, that's not bad. Uh, my Canon 77D has a flip out screen, so ultimate selfie mode, I can see exactly what's recording at any one time. So that's pretty good. Well, I know it works, and I know it can hold the weight of the camera. Uh, I'm not sure how Peter McKinnon walks around with a 1DX on. You know, this is straining my arms. 